built it. Courage. Freedom. Millions go to Newsmax. And to discuss our panelists, Aaron Elmore, Executive Director of USA Strong, Hal Lambert, former Ted Cruz National Finance Chair, and Ted Harvey, Chairman of the Committee to Defend the President and Republican Strategist. Good to see all of you here. Uh, Ted Harvey, actually, I'll go straight to you. The fact that Donald Trump is on the schedule of speakers, what do you think he might say? Well, we never know what former President Trump is going to say, and that's what makes him so interesting, to be honest. Um, depends on who's writing the speech. Is it going to be something off the cuff? Is it going to be something he reads off the teleprompter? You know, I think there is a lot to criticize in this new administration with executive order upon executive order. I think that he can really look forward to the next election. And what's good about him going to CPAC is it shows unity. Matt and Mercedes Schlapp, who CPAC is their show, both work closely with President Trump. So let's let's let this be an act of unity between the Republican Party and the Trump populist movement. I hope that we really try to bring the Republicans together as one and get excited about the next election because we gotta get Joe Biden out of office. Hal Lambert, I'll bring you into this conversation because the audience has changed and I'll elaborate. If you would have put the president at CPAC years ago, he may have had nearly 100% support. That is not the case now. Uh, Governor Asa Hutchinson of Arkansas coming out saying he would not su support the president. There are other Republicans out there that said they would not support the president. McConnell has pushed against the, the former president, I should say. Um, I think he'll be received very warmly at CPAC. I mean, it is the conservative base. It does raise the question as to what her qualifications really are. Mean tweets aside, is she really qualified for this role? Well, it doesn't look like she's going to get it, now does she? But let me say this. She's horrible, okay? There's no disputing that, but she is also a bit of a sacrificial lamb here. A lot of Biden's other picks are downright terrible as well. For the DOJ Civil Rights Division, Kristen Clark has made some very racially charged comments. And also Xavier Bacara for HHS, he full-on supports infanticide and decriminalization of all immigration uh, illegal. So basically, I don't think that this is a one-off. I think that we're going to see a lot of different nominees face really uphill battles, let's hope, because he's going after a really radical group of people here, and they're all quite terrifying. So we're going to have to need Joe Manchin and Susan Collins and all the Mitt Romneys who have sort of voted in different ways to stand up here and do the right thing, because we cannot see these nominees get through. Uh, Hal, I'll have to walk about comments about saying that we haven't heard from the White House because we have. A couple hours ago, as Emma just read the Jen Psaki tweet uh, about Neera Tana, they are pushing forward. I mean, it's a very, if you read the tweet. Race seems to be the number one factor with this administration on any kind of appointment. Uh Aaron Elmore, thanks so much. Meanwhile, this